Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play CC2 LP1. We are on level 171, Fuse, and this is the final level that I have in the set, which is pretty fun. And it's actually based on an older level I made, and I'm going to make sure of something real quick. Uh, okay, so it's two. So you can hit... You can hit the clone button once, or the ta the tank button once, I should say. But hit it a second time, and that all closes. So, okay. So yeah, this is based on the walls of CCLP1 level that I did. Uh, uh, man, when was that? It feels like a while back now. Uh, but it was 2018 or so when I made the set. So, it was based on a level called Unidentified Frying Object. Uh, the name came from an old escape level. But this level, on the other hand, is uh, very different. It's got this deal going on where you're using a hook to get these blocks in place here. Which is pretty cool. Um, Uh-oh. That may be a problem. I kind of prefer this version to the Walls of CCLP1 version, though. Mainly because it feels like you can do more as far as going around and the, the actual Sokoban part of it is not nearly as strict as its uh, predecessor. But uh, yeah, it's definitely still quite a challenge though. And I'm trying to remember how to negotiate this. Okay, that's now going there. I need to get through over... Yeah, there. That's what I wanted. See, part of the issue is that you can't really pull the blocks through the teleports. Which kind of makes it a little tougher. All right, we'll figure this out. I just need to untangle all of this because I feel like this whole thing just kind of became a giant mess. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one there. I feel like that's probably fine being there, but I just wanna make sure. Let's do the... hang on. I feel like I'm getting somewhere with this now. And I don't want to lose the foothold. Okay, there we go. So that gets everything turned on, but I need to actually get this to work. Now, if I can get, yeah, I want to do that, because ultimately what I want to do is I want to feed that one that's sitting up there into, whoops. I just need to get to that that bottom one over. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, let's let's redo what we did there, but this time let me be a little bit more deliberate about how it's set up. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a situation where this is the one left over and it's here. Like that's it's that block right there. 
If I can do that, I think we we got this made. Okay, so I can do that. That's all good. I'm just trying not to accidentally pull these when I don't want to. Like that. But actually, wait a minute. That may not be a bad thing. Because I could use that to my advantage. The problem is blocks like that, like that right there is an issue. If I can just get a couple of these ones on the right side shifted around, I think we're, we'll be in business. So in order to do that though, I think I'm going to need... Oh no, the hook is over there now. Crap, I forgot. Oh no. Okay. We're going to have to start this one over. Okay. So, the th I think the issue here is that we... We have everything set up like one thing apart from where everything actually needs to be. Like, if I can just get that spot empty, I think we'll be fine. But I need to get it empty, which is the problem. Okay, so if I can get this way over here... Does this help? I think the answer is yes. In fact, I think this is perfect, because all I need to do is just go here, oops, oh, I was so close, I was so close, I squandered it, I accidentally pulled that off, and I did not mean to, man, okay, try it again. We can do this. We we had it. We just we had it right there, and then I accidentally pulled the block, and yeah, you, you saw what happened. That was not that was not great. Okay, so let's go ahead and move all these into their positions here. So if I can get you to stay here-ish, that should be fine. Okay. This time, do not pull that apart. There we go. And I should just be able to... There we are. Perfect. All right. That is Fuse. Not exactly a super difficult level, but I guess if you, you haven't played it before, it could be really tough, so... I like it though. I, I think it's it's fun. I like this version more in some ways than the CC1 version, even though that one's more of like a difficult Sokoban. So, anyway, we were back into unknown territory with another Tyler level. I originally uh, put archival footage, but we know that's wrong. So we have Blocko's Modern Life. We have uh, Slither. Let's see what this is. Oh, and archaeology. I forgot about this level. How can I forget about this level? Okay. Yeah, I thought this would be earlier. Like, I forgot that this is kind of a bit challenging. For some reason, I remember being this being relatively breezy during voting, but... 
Maybe it was put here later on as uh, just because it involves a lot of dodging and whatnot. But yeah, this level is based on the walls of caverns from uh, OG CC2, which is pretty cool. There you go. Clean all that up for me. Wonderful. All right. So what we have to do here is we have to get... Okay, that is not actually what we need to have happen here. That's right, you have to do that business. Okay, I forgot about that. I got a little ahead of myself here and got excited. I, I forgot that you can open up all those traps at the same time. But yeah, this is based on caverns from uh, the original CC2, and this is one of the few, um, or not few, it's one of 24, rather, uh, create competition entries that appear in the final set, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we'll do this one. Alright, Teeth, come down here. There you are. And go back. You can probably just stand to wait to get that until I absolutely need it. There we go. Poifect. Alright, so now get a couple of bonuses and we are good to go. And there's a key thief under here, which is a new addition. I suppose that green key could have come in handy later. I do not know. Okay, that looks rather terrifying. So, I need to get a railroad track, I think, in order to even dare approach that. Oh. That was a dumb idea. That was also a dumb idea. Let's, uh, let's stray away from dumb ideas. Dumb ideas are not what we need in life. Okay, there we go. That section right there reminds me of a level Joshua Bone made that we'll be seeing, I think, later in the set. Okay, so let's do this all over again. Get that one. Oh, I see. You could sh you could save the keys by doing what I just did there. Oh, that's interesting. Did I switch that? Yeah, I did. So that's why the, the key thief is here, to prevent you from doing that. Fair enough. Okay. So this time, do not go to the right, because that's a dumb idea. Instead, let's get railroad tracks, which are less dumb. Oh, hi. Whoa. Okay. I did not know that was coming. Okay. Yeah, this level is a lot more difficult than uh, it may seem on first glance. That seems to be the running theme of the set here. Man, I wish that ghost came out just in... In the nick of time. Oh well. Alright, so then we bring it one step closer. Two steps back. Then we go down here, I believe. And we change back to chip for the final fireball. Why did I do that? That was absolutely inexcusable. 
Okay. There we go. Okay, so we do this. Call it back over here. Get the yellow key. Get the green key. And we should be home free. Okay. Try this again and don't get killed by this thing. Alright. Or these things. These paramecia actually come through. Ah! I forgot ghosts go through that. It's funny, my brain... It, the adjustment to ghosts has been really weird. Like, my brain has not still processed that ghosts travel differently and can go through walls and do all that good stuff. I have no idea why this is such a struggle. Like, for some reason, this is such a bizarre struggle. Alright, then we get this one. Three steps closer, and then four steps back. Oops. Alright, there we go. Only takes about a minute to do this first part. Which is a relief. Okay, let's move on to this weird section here. That for some reason, I just cannot get past. Okay. So now I can get that. So... Oh, I can go back through the teleport, right? Yeah, the way this all works is pretty slick. Okay. That's a little terrifying. Wait, what? What did I just do there? I have no idea what I just did there. I feel like I did something important, and the result, the effect, is not fully understood. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is all... Okay, how do we... This reminds me of that puzzle from Warp, the level from earlier. Okay, I think we have to do something like this, don't we? Yeah, I have to do that. So that way... Oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to take this down first, wasn't I? Uh-oh. That might be a problem. I got that in the wrong order. Dang it. That was not my finest hour. This whole video so far has not exactly been very stellar, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully this has been fun. Okay. Go over here. Whoops. Now you go two steps back. That's... I got those two mixed up for some reason. I keep doing that. Grab you. Alright, finally got this. 
I really like the aesthetic of this level. It's very... Like, it has a very earthy kind of tone to it, which feels pretty cool. I don't know, there's something really neat about it. Four, there we go. Okay. So now I can get this. Wait here real quick. See, I don't understand what happened here. I I went through this, right? So I did this. What did I do before? I, I'm so confused there. Okay, well, whatever it is. I feel like I'm not doing this correctly, but... Wait, I need to put this down first. That's, that's what the issue is. I need to do that. Then I go through here. Okay, yeah. There we go. Okay, we are now on to the next section, which looks very interesting. Are those on? Okay, what is the clearance here? I can do at least one more. So I can go in here. Uh... I can get the helmet, which is cool. I don't believe we want to get those green keys. If I remember this correctly. Yeah, because that's going to happen. And we want that to happen. But, we also want there to be a path. So... There we go. That is a really fun level. I, I, I'm i glad it's later in the set, because it does involve a lot of dodging and action. So, good on Tyler for waiting to put it until a later point. At any rate, we are on to the next Jeffrey level. I originally had Aquato Sewer System in here. But since that was earlier, I'm going to say oversaturated contrast. Oh no, it's Tiny Isle Reshuffled. Okay. Okay, so this is... Yeah, so this is the... It's interesting because this is actually a sequel to a, a Jeffrey level called Tiny Isle. But uh, the name got kept. I guess because you have to do a lot of shuffling, so... Makes sense, I guess. I just need to remember how to do it, is the thing. I'm guessing this was probably not the right opening. Um, let's go this way this time. This, this feels a little more reasonable. Uh, I think that might have been a mistake. Whoops, that is definitely a mistake. But I like this idea of doing it like that. As long as I can get... this there. I forgot how you do this part. Seems to be the recurring theme these days. Oh wait, I can just do put that there. Does that help? I don't know if that does anything, but... I 
I feel like that didn't really do anything. Let's uh, let's start over. We could be here for a little while. So I'm going to try to avoid putting another block up top there. If I can. I can't go through there. It feels like I almost have to put a block up there, though. Am I missing something with this one? Let's start over again. It feels like the, the opening moves to this puzzle are so critical that if you miss one, who knows, you could be you could be screwing over the whole thing. No, I think you have to do this. Oh wait, I could just I could just do this. I could just start on the that's right. I don't have to do I don't have to keep that all the way back there. Okay, that's not so bad. That's pretty simple. Okay, so that takes care of all those. So I believe our next course of action is to go this away. Ah, yes, the frame block puzzle. This I remember. I distinctly remember this one. Okay, so I can take one up there. And I think we've already messed this up because I don't see a way to unstick this without getting this other block involved. So let's do a redo on that. Take another mulligan. Yeah, this opening puzzle isn't so bad. This is uh, this is actually pretty simple. I think we're gonna encounter this ice block one here later on. So I'm guessing that the that the title was kept just because this does involve a lot of shuffling around. So, and you are basically reshuffling around the aisle, I guess. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try putting that there. I still want to do only one block, though, but if I do this, I think that can be a little more productive than what we had a little while ago. So let's try that. Because eventually the goal is going to be to get each block up there one at a time. So toward that end... Can I get anything here isolated to the top? I, yes, I can do that. Okay, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to switch, I'm trying to swap these around so I can clear up more space. So if I can do that, then I can basically just take blocks here one at a time and do the same thing, which... Yeah, that's not so hard. I can just do that. That's a pretty nifty concept. I like that. Let's do this. Or maybe not. That's... Could that work? Hang on. I actually think we can make this work. Can we? Let's give it a shot. Yeah, I can totally do this. I just have to do a little swap here with this, but... It can still work. There we go. Easy as pie, right? 
Okay, so this one... Uh... Huh. I think this has to go down. So I go, I go down, I push it right. But then how do I... Hang on. No, actually, I can push it right here. Okay. So I don't actually use that wall. It works for me. Okay, so this one... I basically have to do that. Like, there's no way around that. So did I push this one two spaces to the right, or... I think I do. I don't see any other way around it. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything more we can do, but I think this is... We have to keep it like this for now. Or do we? Oh no. Don't tell me I messed this up. Not the last thing. I messed up the last thing. Oh my goodness, I messed up the last thing. <sighs> Man, that is so frustrating. I'm I'm probably going to have all kinds of frustrations on these last few levels. I mean, normally it probably wouldn't be as bad, but like, when you're live recording and you're like, trying to keep yourself on a, on a pace and not really fall slow down very much. It's like a little bit more frustrating when you're having to deal with that. So I see the, the eventual like exit related path that we're going to be taking. So I think our, yeah, we did this earlier. We did that. Okay. So, as long as I can isolate one block and put it up here, we should be golden. And I kind of just went in a circle there, didn't I? But I can just do that. Yeah, getting this part here unraveled at first is a little... It feels a little tricky, but it's actually not that bad. It just takes a little bit of time. Now, can I get these blocks here in one go, or do I have to... I think I have to have to do this. Yeah, unfortunately I have to do that. Not, not too bad, though. You can go down there, though. Okay, good thing I had enough room for all three. I was, <laughs> I just kind of assumed I did, and I didn't even think about it. Okay. Goodbye, pointless recessed wall. It was nice knowing you. So, what do I do with this? Do I actually have to push this right? Because if I push this right, I go down here... That doesn't really solve anything, does it? Maybe the better question to ask is, is there a way to get things done here without even using the recessed wall for the first block? And that might be a different question. Huh, how do you get this? So if I go here and push this one down, I'm left with a block here and a block there. Even if it were a block here and a block there, that pretty much puts us back in the same position as we had earlier. So that's not really that helpful. So maybe the real solution is to push two blocks down. Maybe that's what we need to be doing. Yeah, that works out. There we go. 
Kind of the unexpected solution, but a really cool one. And that is Tiny Isle Reshuffle. That is a really fun level. Alright, so next up, we have another Tyler level. I originally put Green Wrangler all the way over in this spot, but as we saw very early on in the Let's Play, it was pretty early in the set. So, let's see what this is. Is it Blocko's Modern Life? Oh no, it's Objectification. Okay. I'm nervous about this one. Um, this is the one of the last uh, multi-character levels in the set, and... I apparently busted this when I played it in... Whoops, I keep moving the wrong characters. I apparently busted this when I played it in the voting packs, so... Okay, we do this. Okay, so Melinda's... See, I'm not ex entirely certain what we're supposed to be doing here. Now, can I drop this helmet? I cannot. Okay. I can't drop it while I'm sliding around. So I'm not entirely certain how to give this helmet to them. How do I do that? And I need to be mindful of all these fireballs and stuff, too. Unless I'm just supposed to... Am I supposed to just go down here for fun and... Okay, hang on a second. I've got an idea. Uh... Come on. Deflect some. Really? You're not deflecting a single fireball chip? Come on, man. Come on, son. I guess I... Oh, wait. Melinda's not... <laughs> Melinda's not invulnerable. My bad. Okay. So let's do this again. This time, hopefully, we can naturally... I think this is the section I busted. I, I did this the completely unintended way. There we go. And then this one. Okay, I have no idea what we're even doing by doing that, but hopefully it's something good. Okay, there's a toggle door. I don't know if that does anything, though. Is that tied to any of the fireball? I'm trying to understand. I see a thing here. Am I supposed to get these at the same time? I wonder if that's part of the issue. There we go. That's the timing I needed. Okay. Finally. Okay, so we can go over here. So I'm going to guess, based on what we went through before, that this Melinda is no longer needed. Her services are no longer required. So now we have just two characters. Unless, am I supposed to get this up there? There we go. So now I have the helmet. Okay, so Chip can go here and get skates, which is interesting. And then we have this cloning thing going on here. I remember having trouble with, like, the time... Whoa. Whoa. 
So, wait a second. If I continuously run through that... Hang on a sec. I'm trying to switch while... There we go. Okay, so that switches the tanks. Chip doing that. So the question is... Okay. I'm gonna guess that I need to just... Nope. Does that work? Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Okay. Nice. Okay, we got it. Hey, Chip, you can uh, you can stop now. There we go. All right. So I don't know if we still need these tools or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and move forward onto the final part. Okay. So. I'm going to guess that we need to take this block all the way around. And is it pretty safe to assume that Melinda's going to be the... Okay, uh, Melinda, you need the helmet for this. Okay, just to be safe, I, d I don't want to take any chances here. Okay, thankfully we have a lot more time this time around than we did in voting, which is nice. Yes, we did it! That was really fun. I liked that one a lot. That's, it's not that difficult, all things considered. Like, it's actually pretty reasonable, and I really like the way it works. It's a really fun and interesting challenge where you get to actually use some of the shenanigans you can do with multiple characters. I like the fact that you couldn't do what I did by trying to cheese the section with the fireballs. Um, by doing them one at a time, you actually had to do both at the same time, so you had to get the timing right, which was kind of annoying, but it was fun, though. Alright, next level is a Jeffrey level, and I have Mobile Cannon Mr. McCallahan for this one. Hasn't been deconfirmed or appeared yet, so let's see. Yes, we got one right! Yes, alright. So, let's see what we have here. So, this seems to be a bowling ball type of level. Okay. I take it I just need to... get one of these and... We'll call it good, or it's a little more than just that. I think we can just get one of them. Yeah, because we just do that. Alright, cool. I can take a couple more here, which turns out that's, I think, mostly what I need. And I might need two more? Apparently you can get two more blocks out of that. Okay. Very interesting. Alright. I like this first part. This is the the getting the block the chips under the blocks is pretty awesome. Okay, so what can we do differently to ensure that we can get more blocks? If anything, maybe we can't do anything differently. Um, I'm just looking at all the different combinations here, but at some point I have to go through the center in order to actually unlock a reasonable number. So let's do this, actually. I think that's going to be more productive.
Wait, we still have the same amount? I thought we got one extra out of that. Did we not get one extra? Okay, I had to be Melinda to get these, so... I had to do this, right? Like, I didn't miss out on anything by doing it the way I did. I don't think. I hope I didn't. Hmm. Thoughts to think about. Okay. So I need four blocks. How do you get four blocks out of this? Yeah, I have three here, but that's... I can't actually push all of these over. If there were ice blocks, that would be... Actually, no, I don't think I could do ice blocks. Okay, that's a little faster. Am I just missing something really obvious here? Knowing me, that's always a possibility. Yeah, it's the same principle with the three blocks. So, yeah. I don't get it. And apparently... I, I have to be Melinda to do this, so I have to... In order to get two, I have to give up one. Yeah, what am I missing with that room? Or is it, is, or is it something with this first room? I don't know. Let me try something else here. There we go. That's how you do it. That's pretty fiendish. I like that. That's a really cool uh, uh, bowling ball puzzle there. Like, it's really simple, but it's... It's very deceptive in some ways. Okay, so I can come back there with a green key. Okay, so what's going on here? I need to build paths one at a time, I'm assuming, through this. Okay. And we got that one. Okay, that was simple enough. Get a bunch of stuff. So I have a yellow now, which means I can go through here. Nice. Okay. Okay, so this looks like a bowling ball inventory type challenge which looks like a pain so am I supposed to okay I'm confused it looks like I'm supposed to go oh I see I'm supposed to go over here okay so I need to make sure that the bowling ball actually gets the uh the suction boots, which means that it can't happen before this, because it has to carry it down there. But then I have to make it get rid of the suction boots after that, which is an interesting challenge. I'm going to put a hiking boot here, because I, I want to make sure that the suction boots are not like the first thing that it gets. And I can't actually step on that, so that should be fine. So right now, if I were to let the bowling ball go, it gets the hiking boot first. Goes down here, gets suction boots, fire boots, flippers. I was about to say water boots. And then it lets go of the... Uh... Oh, it lets go of the hiking boots. Okay, hang on a sec. 
So I probably should do it like this, right? Because that at least ensures that the suction boots are released at that point. And it gets the hiking boots. So then it gets through these, and we should be fine. So let's try it. Perfect. All right. Get some suction boots back. So now I can press this. I'm going to leave these here because I don't want to get the stuff stolen from me. It's a key thief. Okay. I see item thieves, and I'm worried that if I try to take one of these, I'm going to... Yeah, it just gets stolen. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I think that's all we can do for there. So I'm going to have to do a similar thing that we did in the first room over here. And I'm seeing a break in the formation. Well, no, I guess this is symmetrical. But at the very least, we can break the formation like that. Okay, so that works out. I'm going to go ahead and get that there. Okay, so so far, I believe we've gotten everything. I don't think we've missed anything. But I feel like I have somehow. I don't know, it's weird. So, with this one, what exactly are we doing here? It seems like I'm trying to set up something... Is the goal to, like, go th through... What? Oh, I need to, to use them on the swivels, don't I? That's probably what it is. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so get rid of those. Okay, yeah, we, we got all the chips, so we're fine. So I take it, I want to do this, because that gives me both of these back. That's a clever little puzzle, I like that. Okay, this looks interesting. Is the idea here to just let the bowling ball push this over and over again? It would appear so. Um, I'm going to assume that this is correct. Okay, so now we have some yellow teleports. I'm still not sure what, if this block is used for anything or what. But I am rather curious at this setup here at the very end and how this is supposed to work. Um, oh, I can turn these with the yellow teleports, presumably. So how do I... Wait a minute. How do I force these to be picked up? Oh, here. I can just do that. Okay. So, with that in mind... Okay, so first things first. I'm gonna... I think what we need to do is we need to blow these up. Then I need to lay one of these down here. And I just want to make sure that that's perfectly fine but I think what we need to do first is just do one over here first so this could be there we go so what I need to do is I need to set this up such that it can go in over here 
if I can get a bonus if I were to go the other way. Man, the optimization game for this set, I keep telling you, it's going to be something else. All three paths here will lead to victory, but only one will lead to the highest score. Oh, uh, let's go down here. Well, we didn't get any bonus, but that's fine. That was really fun to solve. I really enjoyed that. That was Mobile Cannon, Mr. McCallahan. So the next level is going to be an Andrew Menzies level, and I initially suspected Quadrathlon, but now I'm wondering if it's going to be pushing the boundaries. Let's see. Oh, it's Double Stop. Okay. I predicted this would come five levels or six levels later. All right. Well, it looks like we will look forward to that next time. So hopefully this was a fun episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed yourselves today. Thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, and I will catch you on the flip side. Take care, and I will see you then.